Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers how to use the Breakout Rooms feature in Google Meet. Before we start, just a quick note of clarification. This video is for people who are using the Enterprise version of the Google Suite of Tools. If your school does not pay for the Google Tools, but instead uses the free version, you will not have access to the Breakout Rooms tool, as well as other Enterprise features. Now, I do have a separate video where I cover an alternate way to do Breakout Rooms in Meet if you are using the free version, and you can find the link to that video down below in the description. So, Breakout Rooms are an awesome feature of Google Meet that allow you to take all of your meeting participants and split them up into smaller meets, where they can work on group projects, have small group discussions, and such. Here's how it works. Once you have everyone in the Meet with you, go up to the top right-hand corner and click on the Activities button. You can now click on the Breakout Rooms option in the panel that opens. Here, you can select the number of breakout rooms that you wish to create from 2 to 100. As you change the number of rooms, your participants will be redivided equally between them. If needed, you can click the Shuffle button to randomly rearrange the students. You can also click on the Clear button to remove everyone from the rooms, and then you can click Shuffle again to put them back. If you need, you can also drag the students between rooms if you need to adjust them manually. Also, if you prefer, you can rename the rooms to something that fits your activity if you want. Simply click in the box and type in a new name for the room. Once you are happy with the setup of your breakout rooms, just go down to the bottom right-hand corner and click on the Create button to make the rooms and invite the students to their rooms. Now let's switch over to a student account to see what this looks like from the student's point of view. Each student will now get a pop-up message telling them which breakout room they've been assigned to. The student will simply click Join to leave the main meet and enter into their breakout room. Once a student is inside the breakout room, they can chat and interact with the other students in the room, just like they're in a normal Google Meet. At any point, a student can click Return to the main room at the top of the screen if they want to leave the breakout room. And then they can rejoin the breakout room again by just going up and clicking on the Join link at the top. Now let's go back over to being the teacher. As the teacher, you can join any of the breakout rooms by clicking on the Join link to the right of the room name. You can now interact with the students in that room just like you're in a normal Google Meet. You can then click the Join link to jump over to a different breakout room, or you can click on the Leave link to go back to the main Google Meet. At any point, you can click on the Edit Breakout Rooms button to make changes, such as moving the students to different rooms simply by dragging them from one room to another. When you click the Save button, the students will get a pop-up notification letting them know that they're being moved. If at any point you close out of the Breakout Room panel, you can always reopen it by going up and clicking on the Activities button in the top right-hand corner, and then clicking on Breakout Rooms again. When you're ready to stop using the Breakout Rooms, just click the End Breakout Rooms button in the panel. All of the students will now get a pop-up message letting them know that they are going back to the main Meet room. Now a few quick notes about monitoring your students when using breakout rooms. At the moment, 
breakout rooms cannot be recorded or live streamed, and you will not be able to see the chat messages sent between the students when you're not in the breakout room with them. You will only see chats that are sent while you're in their room. So those are the basics for how to use the official breakout rooms feature in Google Meet. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meetvideos.